A bull mastiff's head is massive and square shaped with a large black muzzle and deep wrinkles around the cheeks and burrows. The ears are small and thin, set high on the head. The eyes are wide set and dark amber in color. A bull mastiff's neck is thick, but not excessively so, leading down to its broad chest and solid shoulders. It has well-boned legs with a heavy coat of loose skin covering them from shoulder to hock. The tail is set low on the body, thick at the base, tapering gradually toward the tip. A bull mastiff's coat looks coarse, but should feel smooth when stroked against the grain. It also lays flat against the body. Hello everyone, it's your favorite smart dog lover. Remember to hit the like button if you haven't already. Also subscribe and turn on notifications for more contents like this that will help you know your dog better. Let's get on with it. Number 12. No, leave it outside. This is a bull mastiff and he likes to bring items into the house. It will bring in sticks, tennis balls, soccer balls, basketballs, and even its own toys from outside. Bull Mastiffs like to bring in items into the house, such as shoes and socks. They also love to play tug-of-war with clothing that has been left lying around. These habits can be curbed by using a crate for when you cannot supervise them. Number 11. They drool a lot. Bull Mastiffs drool a lot. They have jowls that flap around and tend to drip all over the place. This is one of their most distinctive features, second only to their enormous size. If you own a bull mastiff, you will get used to slobber smeared across your windows, countertops, and furniture, anywhere your dog happens to be looking at the time. Number 10. Super Dogs Bull Mastiffs are one of the most social and adaptable dogs. They are a little calmer than most but courageous dogs that make great family pets. They are extremely loyal to their owners, but need firm handling from an early age to prevent them from becoming willful or dominant. They should be socialized with strangers and other animals while young. They enjoy the company of children and make excellent companions for older children who treat them respectfully. They can live outdoor in temperate climates, but prefer to be inside with their people when possible. Number 9. Fights? He'll pass. Bull Mastiffs in general are very smart and easy to train. Training is important for these dogs because they are big and can easily knock over a small child or older adult if they get too excited or happy. It is important for them to know their place in pack and humans hold the top spot. This breed is not normally aggressive unless they feel threatened or that their family is being threatened. Number 8. Scent Picking Machines Bull Mastiffs are the best at hunting because of their ability to smell from long distances, hunt silently, and capture prey with their strong jaws. Bull Mastiffs can smell from long distances because of their big noses and long snouts. They also have a great stamina, which enables them to run fast for hours without getting tired. Bull Mastiffs can hunt silently because they were bred for that purpose. Originally, Bull Mastiffs were used to hunt poachers in England. Bull Mastiffs would chase poachers until the poachers ran into the waiting arms of a game warden or landowner's henchman. The owner would use the Bull Mastiff to keep poachers away from their land so they could sell the game. When hunters started using guns instead of clubs, bull mastiffs were not needed anymore. Number 7. No breathing space. If you love a good cuddle, then this dog is for you. The bull mastiff will smother you with love. It's the best! He is always up for a nap and to cuddle on the couch. If you want to adopt this one as a pet, be prepared for lots of licking and slobbering. You will definitely feel the love when you have a bull mastiff dog in your life. These dogs are sweet and wonderful companions who love to follow you around like a shadow, wagging their tail each time they see you, even if it's only five minutes since they last saw you. They will headbutt your hands to give you kisses and rub their big fluffy heads on your legs until you pet them. Number 6. They grow big and heavy. 
Bull Mastiff is a large sized dog breed that originated in the United Kingdom. The Bull Mastiff was bred to be a defender and guardian of estates, much like the English Mastiff, its ancestor. It has been used as a gamekeeper's dog, but its size and weight mean that it's not as nibble or quick as other guard dogs. They are broad, muscular dogs with heavy bone structure. Their coat is short, smooth, and dense. Bull Mastiffs come in fawn and red coats, with black masks and ears that are just heavier than most breeds its size. Number 5. No need for much exercise. Bull Mastiffs do not need as much exercise as you might think. They are quite lazy dogs who prefer to spend most of their time sleeping. This is because they were originally bred in England to protect the royal family from intruders, so they were often left alone in the house during the day. Bull Mastiffs are often described as being laid back or lazy, but they're actually quite active dogs that love playing fetch, going for walks, walking around outside, and swimming in water. This breed enjoys spending time with their family members indoors too. Number 4. They are famous. Bull Mastiffs are hard not to love. They are large, loyal dogs with playful temperaments and protective instincts. That may be why celebrities such as Madonna, Charlize Theron, Bruce Willis, and Denzel Washington have owned them. Bull Mastiffs tend to be extremely affectionate with everyone in their family. However, they can be aggressive towards strangers if they detect a threat to their family. Celebrities who own bull mastiffs often get them for this very purpose. A bull mastiff's devotion to its owner cannot be questioned. So these dogs make an excellent way for celebrities to feel safe in their homes. Number 3. They are misunderstood. The bull mastiff has been described as a silent watchdog, his deep bark sounding only in the most dire of circumstances. This trait is often misinterpreted as laziness, but this bull was bred to be silent and stealthy, not lazy. His intimidating size coupled with his keen intelligence makes him a formidable guardian. This breed is different from a traditional guard dog. He was trained not to bark or bite intruders, but rather to silently pin them down with his huge body until the owner could arrive and take over. A bull mastiff that bites an intruder may have missed his calling as a dog of law enforcement or personal protection. Number 2. Easy to maintain. The bull mastiff is easy to groom thanks to their short, dense, and shiny coat that does not shed heavily. They do shed, however, so you will notice their hair around the house during shedding season. They should be brushed once per week using a firm bristle brush. During shedding season, you can increase the brushing to two to three times per week to help remove loose air before it ends up on your clothes and furniture. Wipe the face folds with a damp cloth once in a while to prevent any skin irritation that can result from saliva buildup. Use a toothbrush or a baby toothbrush to clean those hard to reach back teeth at least twice a week, more often if possible. Check ears weekly for signs of wax buildup, irritation, or infection. If any redness or odor is noticed, contact your veterinarian immediately, as this may indicate an infection. Number 1. Patient Companions Kids love bull mastiffs because they're patient, even with very young children. The breed is known for being gentle giants. They are very large but extremely mild-mannered and unlikely to snap at children or adults. This makes them perfect playmates for children. Kids can be rough on animals. They grab tails, climb on backs, pull ears, and bull mastiffs don't care. They're like living teddy bears. The same cannot be said for humans in the house. By the end of the day, even the most laid back of parents is in need of an adult beverage or three just to take the edge off. That's all folks on today's show. If you like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment telling us your best experience with a bull mastiff. Before we go, 
do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog-related content from us. Goodbye for now.